Hi, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your Sabbath yesterday. Today is October 17th. And a note to my subscribers, I love you all. I think that you're pearls. And uh, I love pearls. You know, I named my youngest daughter after pearls. But anyway, I um was listening to Dave Chappelle. I, I saw his special close closer. And yeah, I thought it was really interesting after the first 10 minutes. Now, the reason I say that is because he said something about his wife is Asian, which I already knew, but that uh, he was, because he had he had the C thing, he was sitting at home and he was watching YouTube videos. Now, I think this is, you know, it was a couple of days ago, but I think that's what he was saying. And if I got a little misconstrued, construed, please forgive me. But anyway, I think that's what he was saying. And he was looking at a lot of uh, black on Asian violence, YouTube videos, or maybe he didn't say YouTube, maybe he just said videos. Anyway, so I thought, wow, I don't, I don't remember this being even a thing. I could swear not too long ago, it was a whole lot of Asian on black violence, especially if you went to their stores, the beauty supply stores and bought something and they, you know, thought maybe you or one of your kids picked up something, you know, you could have spent 200 bucks in there, but if they thought the kid picked up something for 99 cents, they were going to beat you up and then maybe call the police after they locked you in. You know, I, that's how I remember stuff happening. But the weird thing is, I went to YouTube and I typed in Asian on black violence. Okay, I couldn't find anything. All I saw was uh, advocates discourage anti-black sentiment amid violence against Asians. Increase in crimes against Asian Americans. Understanding the history of tension between black and Asian communities. My thought was, what tension? I mean... They sell stuff, we buy it. You know, they come in our communities and sell stuff, we buy it. We don't go into their communities and sell them stuff because it just doesn't work that way. They don't give us the loans or whatever it is people have to do the stuff they do. Okay, uh, this is anti-Asian attacks and relations with the black community. And Now, I remember all this started because it was a white guy went and I think it was a white guy but he was definitely a non-black guy he went and to a massage parlor and a strip mall and started shooting people or something but it wasn't a black person but for some reason after that you started seeing stuff about black people doing stuff to Asians and I am a, a somewhat reclusive person I don't get out there very much but um I just haven't really seen, I've seen black people be violent against each other. That's easy to see, but against Asians? I mean, there aren't any around, number one. How are you going to be violent against somebody yet to get up and go to their store? And then, you know, they know where all their stuff is. But in any case, this is what happened. You see the results when I typed in Asian on black violence. So what I started off with was black on Asian violence so let's see what happens when I put that in okay this time I typed in black on Asian violence and the weird thing is let me refresh it so you see I'm not kidding here but the weird thing is you get the same thing you know now I know that there were lots of incidences of black women going in the shops and getting beat up um, but somehow I don't see them. So, I don't know. I guess it's just one of those weird things in the in a weird universe. But anyway, like I said, I saw Dave Chappelle's uh, video. And if you believe in cloning and stuff, I kind of think, yeah, that's uh, something to investigate right there. But anyway, the thing I saw is I saw people making videos where they're like uh save dave chappelle or they protect dave chappelle and stuff and i think you know the man like he said he is rich and famous he doesn't really need anything from me but number two i always remember this scripture okay hold on one moment okay now this is judges 14 3 king james version for you purists out there bible gateway which i like to 
to use. And it reads, then his father and his mother, oh, let me get the background, uh, Samson, the strongest man that I can think of in the Bible, uh, wants to get married. So he goes to his father and mother and says, hey, I like that, that woman over there, go get her for me. So his father and mother, this is the, oh, and also another thing about Samson. He's the only person in the Bible as far, only man in the Bible, as far as I can see, that had long hair. Like you see a lot of guys wandering around now, and it's very popular with the long locks and stuff. And they they think that that, you know, expresses masculinity. But I kind of think, no, Samson was a Nazarite. He was given at birth. To only serve the Most High and to not drink any wine and a whole lot of other things, Nazarene. So, well, I'm sorry, he's the only one who specifically, they talked about his hair, but that's why he had long hair. Most of the guy's hair was always shorter than the woman. So if you want to say the woman, you know, like they're saying black women are bald-headed, well, then the men need to be even less bald-headed following the Bible. You know, but that, you know... As everything, if I'm wrong, just tell me, and I will say, oh, wow, sorry, let me get it right. But anyway, in any case, uh, this is Judges 14.3, and this is Samson's mother and father in response to his request for a non-Israelite woman. Okay, then his father and his mother said unto him, Is there never a woman among the daughters of thy brethren, or among all my people, that thou goest to take a wife of uncircumcised Philistines? And Samson said unto his father, Get her for me, for she pleases me well. Okay, now you might say, What does that have to do with Dave Chappelle? Well, to me, and to, to me for any Israelite or black man who marries outside to me it really is like you took every last single Hebrew Israelite or black or whatever you want to call us woman lined us all up and said none of them are as good as that woman over there so you are well within your rights to do that I mean not biblically I mean you're within your personal rights and that the Heavenly Father gave you your body and your mind and said, do with it, you know, what you feel you must do. This is what I'm telling you to do, but I'm not forcing you to do it at this particular point. Or I'm not ever going to force you to do it. I'm just going to let you suffer the consequences of not doing what I tell you to do. So in any case, uh, my point is, to me, it's very, it feels very much like rejection. Like you have rejected me. If I have any daughters, you rejected them too. If I have sisters, you rejected them. If my, my mother, you rejected her. Your mother, you rejected her. So therefore, why should I be concerned if you get canceled? If I mean, like you said, you're rich and famous. You got enough money so you can turn down $50 million. I will probably never in my lifetime see $50 million unless the currency really does crash or I'm looking at monopoly money or even that is doubtful. So, therefore, I, I, I don't see any real reason to cry any tears for him. I don't, I'm not cheering either. I don't care one way or the other. If he never makes another special in his life, he is set, his children are set, his wife is set, and like with Michael Jackson. Back in the day, music wasn't cheap. People Poor people were putting their pennies together so they could go support the Jackson 5 and then later Michael Jackson on his own. And when he passed, did the black community see one cent of that money? Not as far as I know. I mean, and, you know, his children, to me, look absolutely nothing like him. They don't even look like they're in the same racial group or phenotype. But that is how he wanted it. So I feel like when a man steps out and says, whatever woman, you, you see black men with 400 pound women whose stomachs are falling down so much they almost had to pick them up and carry them with them. And they are parading them around like, this is my queen. Okay, cool. That's your queen. But you know, whatever happens to you, happens to you. I, I, 
I think that it is important to step out of the way sometimes and let people live their karma. So, again, let me say this is nothing against Dave Chappelle or anybody else. You do what you want to do. If the Heavenly Father is not striking you down with lightning, sure, I'm not going to, whatever. But am I going to go out of my way to do things for you? No. Did you go out of your way to do anything for me? Did you even acknowledge anything I did? No, you didn't. So, um, you know, this probably, I don't make popular videos. I just don't. I started to name my channel something to offend everyone. But, you know, whatever. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, please leave them. And uh, please like or dislike. I'm kind of sensitive. Please like. Uh, like, uh, share and subscribe and comment and you guys this is just something to think about you have a great rest of your day oh and before i forget it i got a weird comment but it doesn't show up on my page so i can't reply to it so it was basically someone saying that you know they hate black people or black people can't act and you know if i have given the impression that i that I'm not black. I don't understand how that's possible. I kind of think I see it every time. And, or that I hate myself and my own people. Well then, you know, that's totally not the message I'm putting across. I love my own people. I just wish my own people love themselves. I definitely love me. I mean, I think that, you know, I'm a pretty nice person. I don't bother anybody. So, I, I'm trying to figure why would someone do that? Why would you give me a message? Why would you put a message like that there? I mean, that's a message you would go to a, like, clan group or something and tell them you hate black people, but why tell me? I, you know, I, I don't care who people hate. I care what you do. You can hate anybody you want. Just don't go burn a cross on the yard or, or physically harm them or emotionally harm them. You know, that's, your feelings are your feelings. They, you know, you just don't have to always act on them. Please don't put them in my comments. I don't quite understand. Maybe I, well, in any case, you guys now have a wonderful day.